Spider here, and today I'm going to be showing you our new feature, Trends. And what this feature allows you to do is, is it goes, it's going to go ahead and streamline how you mess with the advanced settings. And if you go ahead and click here on Trend Analysis Preferences, you're going to see that we have three different types of analysis for, for your trend preferences. We have Original, Enhanced, and Experimental. Now for Original, and you hit a apply you're gonna see this charts not gonna change but this is so this is the original settings of trend spider and it's gonna show you more longer term trends uh, and it's gonna be the least trend sensitive feature meaning that there's not gonna be as many trend lines on your screen when you use this when you use this feature now when you switch to enhance this is our most trend sensitive um, analysis type and basically what that means is there's going to be a lot more trend lines on the screen to choose from. And it's also going to pick up these shorter term trends as well. You can see here, we're getting a little bit of short term support right here on this chart. And then now if we go to experimental, it's exactly what it means. Basically, we always, we're always testing new ways to detect trend lines. And sometimes we allow users to access them. Remember these are experimental settings but they may be interesting to play with. So you can see how they kind of change the short term support a little bit. And you know, you can use it, these are used well on different time frames in different charts, but um, just remember they're experimental and they're pretty interesting. So that's the experimental enhanced and original settings. Let's go back to original. And now I'm gonna go ahead and explain what these drawing inputs are. And the drawing input is so right now we're on wick to wick, which means it's going to draw these trend lines from every high and every low. Now, if we and that's what we've been seeing on all three all these charts. So if we go to body, you're going to see that these trend lines are going to be drawn from the closing price action instead of the absolute highs in, of each trend line. And you can see how that changed our chart a little bit. And then we also have the other feature called islands or gaps respected or ignored and basically when you hit ignore you're going to ignore gaps in price and TrendSpider takes into account these gaps in price by it will not draw trend lines across gaps in price and if we go ahead and hit apply and, and on the ignore setting you're going to see how this pink line changed a little bit here because you can see it's connecting this resistance over here with this resistance but previously when we go back to respect it's going to connect it to this resistance instead because it's respecting this gap in price that we found so that's the trends feature guys I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me uh, or the trend spider team and happy trading